Hi guys, this is Julius Babao and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a timely subject in the sneaker community. The growing number of fakes that are going around the market nowadays. Our sneaker community is growing. Hindi mo wala rin yung pagdami rin ng mga fakes. In fact, they already have so many factories in China that specialize in the fabrication of fake sneakers. A few days ago, after I posted my vlog about my shoe closet, some of you uh, sent me messages asking if my uh, sneaker beluga that I showed to you the last time is a fake. So here it is, guys. Uh, I'm going to show this to you. Um, and we're going to analyze the shoe. Some of you noticed uh, this uh, color, the sneaker color that's colored yellow. You told me that dapat yung color ng skin ng uh, Yeezy should match with the color of the sneakers. So now, the question is, is this sneaker fake or real? Julius Babao unplugged. Julius Babao. Julius Babao unplugged. Some of you guys saw this when I was uh, showing you my uh, sneaker collection, and the first thing that you noticed is the color of the sneaker. Uh, it's colored uh, yellow. All right, it's colored uh, yellow, and uh, some of you told me that that's highly unusual for a Yeezy Beluga to have a different color. The color should match the color of the skin of the Yeezy, which is gray. Uh, but in this case, it's colored yellow. So let me explain, guys. No? What do you see, guys? Okay, what do you see? What do you see there? Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that parts of it, of the color, are colored gray. But when you Look from the side, gradually it changes into yellow. Sa harap, it's gray, but from the side, it's yellow. What could have happened? Um, all I know is when I got these sneakers, all of it is colored gray. Maybe through the years, the color faded. So as you will notice here, as you will notice here, that's the original color, it's gray. And then gradually, when you look to the side, you will see that the color fades and the yellow color comes out. Uh, hanggang sa makarating siya dun sa pull tab, which is totally colored yellow already. Now, moving to the other side, you will see it changes again to gray. I don't know uh, why this happened. I can't explain it. Uh, when I got these sneakers kasi, I wasn't so... Uh, keen in observing kung ano mga nangyayari sa sneakers ko before I got into vlogging. Right now, I'm more conscious because I need to study kung ano yung mga sneakers na pinapakita ko sa inyo. And when you brought this to my attention, doon ko lang nalaman na nagbago nga yung color niya. Uh, so if you're asking me if this is fake or not, I really can't tell guys. no, Because I did some research, I compared the sneakers to the videos that I see in YouTube, mukhang nagko-confirm naman siya sa lahat ng details ng sneakers. Unless may mapapansin kayo ngayon, no? Na iba. But uh, after watching those uh, videos, wala akong makitang ibang reason to conclude na fake ito aside from this. So, kung ito ay normally nangyayari sa mga Yeezy through the years, then I guess mahirap sabihin na fake ito. But, if this is not common, alright? If this uh, doesn't happen, even if you have uh, mga ganitong klase ng shoes, and years later, gray pa rin yung color niya, then, that would make us conclude that this sneakers is really fake. I will bring this to my friends in Cop Garden and Sneaker Bank and other sneaker shops, and I will show this to them, and uh, maybe they're the best to... Uh, 
to examine the sneakers and uh, conclude if these are fake or not. But definitely, um, I agree with you guys na medyo red flag ito, no? It needs further investigation. Mahirap kasing uh, uh, mag-conclude na fake agad. Unless you guys know better. Kasi baka marami sa inyo mga collector talaga ng Yeezys or mga expert when it comes to Yeezys. Send me a message guys. Post your comments below and give me your opinion about this. Okay? Uh, don't worry. I won't feel bad. <laughs> Actually, I feel bad considering that uh, I spent uh, about 30,000 pesos for this only to find out it's fake, but it's okay. Diba? Lessons learned, guys. Ganito naman tayo eh. That's what we're here for. We are, uh, we know better when we make mistakes like this. So, no hard feelings. You can send me your uh, comments. Tell me kung anong opinion nyo tungkol dito. Baka you have uh, encountered this problem before. So, tell me about it in the comments below. Alright. Uh, recently, I bought one from a reseller. Doon pa lang, nung pinakita niya sa akin yung mga pictures nitong uh, shoes na to, medyo may doubts na ako. But uh, even though I have doubts, I decided to get it, to use it in my vlog, and to have it authenticated just to find out kung uh, nangyayari ba talaga na sometimes you get mga sneakers that look legit uh, from ukay ukay and then you bought it at really low low prices na steel sobrang steel na price na hindi lang steel talagang bargain to the max no super mura so i decided to get it and um, i had it authenticated at first look you can see it looks legit guys no it looks authentic. It's a little bit worn out. Uh, gamit na gamit siya. Uh, that will make you uh, think na parang uh, baka nga through the years, medyo nag-iba na yung forma ng sneakers. Hindi na masyadong maganda kasi gamit na gamit na siya. Uh, pero syempre, dahil ito nga ay nabili sa thrift, medyo mag-iisip-isip ka. At ang cost nito ngayon is around 70000 up when you buy it from resellers. Na-use na yun, ha? But uh, when it was offered to me, it was offered to me at, uh, I think, 4,000 pesos. Actually, nagtawaran kami. And then, bumaba kami sa 4,000 pesos. So, wow! Still na to! Kung sakaling uh, ito nga ay legit, so napakaswerte ko, di ba? So, I took the risk, you know? Um, just to prove kung talagang ano, uh, ito ay fake or hindi. Para ma-share ko rin sa inyo, sa aking mga uh, loyal subscribers, uh, kung ano yung mga ways to find out kung fake talaga ang isang item. The first thing that I did is bring this pair of sneakers to my friends at Cop Garden. Because in Cop Garden, yun ang kanilang trabaho. But before they resell those sneakers, they do a close examination of uh, mga sneakers that are being offered to them before they accept it. Uh, since marami na silang mga na-encounter na ganitong klase ng sneakers, I decided to bring it to them to have it authenticated. I showed this to Adrian, the owner of Cop Garden. Hi guys, I'm Adrian here at Cop Garden. Um, so when we check shoes out uh, for their legitimacy, we look at a lot of things. Um, obviously we deal with a lot of shoes every day and we start to see trends and we do some research and stuff like that. So on my right here we got um, the pair of off-white Prestos, the OGs that mm -hmm. um, look a little suspicious to us. Mm -hmm. And here on the left, we got a pair that we have already authenticated and um, made sure that these are 100% legit. Mm -hmm. So first factor that we saw um, was kind of the discoloration over here, All right? Mm -hmm. um, basically, when you look at pairs like this, you look for inconsistencies, mm -hmm. right? So second of all, when you look at the font on this pair, it's a little messy, a little dirty. Um, on camera, it doesn't look as brown as in person. And as you can see, it's not the font that we want compared to the one you see on the real pair here. All right, so it's a lot cleaner, a lot bolder, a lot wider, right? Um, second thing that we saw was just the form of the stitching here. It looks a bit like, how do you say? Rough. A little rough, a little, you know, stitched, not too properly, as you would see on the real pairs. You can see the, the messy finishing here, right? Whereas on the real pair, it's a lot neater, you know, cleaner, more straight and stuff like that, right? Laces, yeah. So, 
I mean, they could have switched out with another pair um, of the OG 97s because with Prestos, they don't have um, these lace tips. And even then, these are a bit messy, right? To be the real ones. These are the actual ones that come with the OG Prestos. Just plain white. Just plain white with or the shoelaces. Green. Yep. And then third was fourth. Sorry, fourth was a strap. So this one's a little short. Um, and it's a little narrow compared to the real one here, as you can see, right? So it just looks messy. Um, so obviously the stitching is a bit off here too. It's not as straight. Could it be because Little it's things. all you know, worn out kind? So um, not really, because you, really. you can determine signs of usage from signs of not being real. You know, you can see it's not straight. You can see in the back, it's a little messy. It's not even covering this part. Um, and then the, the format of the air, it's just a little small for me here. As well as the, the, the heel tab here, much. yeah. So you can see this one's a bit funny looking. Um, this is a bit lighter and it's a bit longer. You can see how it's almost touching this part. Whereas on the real pair, it's still a bit away. And, and this one's a little crooked um, in person compared to this. So Big factors. Big factor, yeah. no? As well Sobran as this, yeah. de Preto. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Even the color, no? This is gray. Color as well, yeah. And the other one is brown. Exactly, exactly. Or beige. So, as well, oh. Mm. And Prestos don't have half sizes, so this is a 10.5. Uh, so that right away is a big 100% okay. no, no. <laughs> So as you can see on the real pairs of the off-white Prestos, uh, for as much as I know, uh, there are no half sizes. So uh, it's just 8 through whatever it is, but whole size as well. Uh, so. so this is... Fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so be careful with fakes. Uh, There's a lot of fakes out there. Do you, you know, encounter out. a lot of ano, mga fakes na nag sell dito? Or? Yeah, well, uh -huh. um, sometimes, unfortunately, people know they're fake. They try to sell it, but sometimes uh -huh. people really don't know because, I mean, fakes are getting better. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, it's up to uh -huh. me and my team to make sure yeah. that we can spot these and uh -oh. obviously that's that's our name and our brand is to sell authentic 100% real legit items right so I mean to people who don't know you can uh -huh. easily get fooled if you don't uh -huh. know so go to your trusted resellers mm -hmm. stores and you can be sure right so there you go all right thank you, these thank you so much these are no good <laughs>
yung chance whether to buy it or not. Thank you pala dun sa mga uh, nagpadala sa akin ng mga messages and uh, yung concern nila about the Yeezy Beluga that I showed in my previous vlogs. Thank you, thank you so much. And if you have other suggestions kung ano pa yung mga topics na gusto nyong uh, itakel ko rito sa vlogs na ito, feel free to message me sa comments below. Don't forget to subscribe also to Christine Babaw's channel. Marami din siya mga interesting topics na dinidiscuss sa kanyang YouTube channel. Subscribe and like the videos. And hit the notification button. On our road to 100,000 subscribers. Good luck. Good luck to me. Good luck to all of us. So for now, bye-bye muna. See you soon.